Mike Tyson, many thanks for joining me on The Global Conversation. You're here to perform your play, your one-man show, the, yes. your, the Undisputed Truth. It charts the ups and downs of your life, and when you watch it, you kind of feel you want to set the record straight. Is that a fair assessment? I don't know if I'm setting the record straight. I'm just here um, talking to people about things they pretty much know about, just telling an underlying story about it. And it's, I don't know, I don't think I'm trying to set the record straight. interested in public opinion about yourself when you do this or have you got to a point where you just couldn't No, I just like entertaining people. What makes you good on the stage? Is it your experience as a boxer that just kind of means it translates itself well onto the stage? Well, I think my experience is being um, a fighter and having the experience in being in front of a, a large crowd of people performing. Um, that has, um, that gives me, a, yeah, it gives me somewhat enough confidence to pull it off on stage. Does it give you energy? Yes, tons of energy. It doesn't matter really. I would perform the same in front of 20,000 people or two people. Well, how do you measure your success? Because it, in the olden days, it was how many people you knocked out. You're phenomenally successful. Now, is success important to you? And how would you measure it? I don't know. I don't know. Um, as a human being, success is important to anybody, as it is important to you and in your field that you have a good interview or you, um, you become acclaimed in your particular field, as I did in mine, and people in, in every field. Everybody wants to be, I would say, noticed about their accomplishments and their hard works. And so, um, yeah, I think I enjoy that as well. You missed that world? No, I don't miss that world, but um, I know I can, um, it's a possible that I can help people. Because um, boxing and sports are just a small increment of your life, and after that's over, you have so much more life to live. How did you learn that lesson? Was there a turning point where you just kind of had some sort of epiphany or realization, or did it come slowly, bit by bit? I don't know, I think it became, it came slowly, bit by bit. You know, um, it took a long time to grow up. It really took a long time to grow up and deal with the responsibilities of life. You know, when you're boxing, you're playing, brothers being football and all that stuff. What are you doing? You're living, a, you know, you're living a life of robbery. You're living like a kid. You don't have many responsibilities. You learn humbleness in it as you get older in life. And you learn um, if you don't come in this world humble, this whole world will thrust humbleness upon you. So, would you say that now your new life, if you can put it into your past life and your new life, you're as passionate about what you're doing now? Absolutely. I don't want to do anything unless I'm passionate about it. You know, I don't care if it's okay anymore. That's why I learned about peace and happiness. That um, if you don't, you're not doing it with passion and love, and you're just doing it for money, it's, um, the emotional outcome is going to be disastrous. And that's from my experience. That's just really what I know. So I know it has to be um, just for pure passion and the love for what I'm doing. And then we'll end with a question. At last, are you at peace with yourself? I don't know. My life is not over yet at the moment. You know, um, yeah, but I don't know. You only feel like that when you're at the, in your dying bed. You know, one knows, you know, no one knows um, as time passes by, you know, one knows what's creeping around the corner for you. You know, we only have the moment to live. Mike Tyson, many thanks. Thank you very much. That's some handshake. You have a good one as well. <laughs>